Good morning, everyone. Guess what day is today? It's my graduation. I'm graduating today. It's Wednesday, the 25th of July. <laughs> um, I've got some gold eyeshadow, I think it's called, um, that I got from Primark. Like, I didn't have anything, so I literally went out yesterday. And then I have put argan oil on my face, which makes it a bit shiny, and a little bit of like my red i have some red lipstick and i put a little bit on my cheeks and then i kind of like shimmed it out to give me a bit of a shine and then oh yeah i've also got eyeliner on i really need to do much stuff on my face but i thought hey you're graduating today and you want to look good in pictures so why not um i'm super excited this is what i'm wearing so i'm wearing this black like lacy kind of top that i got like two years ago maybe I really like the way it looks on the shoulders, even though you're not really going to see it because of the gown. Yeah, so I'm going to be wearing a hat on top anyway, so I don't really care about the hijab too much because the hat's going to be like up to there. And then I have some white shoes, which are so pretty. They're kind of the highlight of the outfit, I would say. They're really pretty. My gown is grey and red, which you're going to see. So it's got a lot going on about it already. So I kind of didn't want to do too much with my outfit because it, it's quite a nice gown. What's happened is um, my graduation is at the South Bank um, Royal Festival Hall. Whereas UCL is like in Houston, it's a bit of a distance away. So we're gonna to go to South Bank, collect my gown and my hat, then go to UCL, take some photos at UCL, then go back to South Bank and my ceremony is at 2.30. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth, but it just means that I won't have to do it after graduation. And also it means that I get some pictures in front of UCL. So it's just more iconic and more of a memorable uh, kind of photo opportunity than just being at South Bank, which is not that unique for me as a UCL student. So, so yeah, that's what we're doing today and uh, I'll take you guys with me all day. I'm going to vlog the whole day. My family are there. My auntie came all the way from Ethiopia as well. Um, she got a visa accepted, which is super exciting. Um, hubby took a day of work as well, so he's going to be spending the day with us. So these are the heels that I'm wearing. I got them from Wallace. They're so pretty. Super, super pretty. Especially this ruffle design. I feel like it makes it look a bit more designer. Um, and then this is my full outfit, minus the shoes, obviously. And I just feel like it's very simple, but with the gown on top, it will look super beautiful. I like, I'm liking the blue and the navy and the black. Made it to the Royal Festival Hall, and I'm going to collect my gown right now. Let's do this. Let's graduate. We got here an hour early. They only open registration for us at 11.30. But I thought if we come at 10.30, maybe we can get there a little bit earlier, get my gown, go to UCL do all those things but they weren't having it because they were like the first morning people just went in now it's too early for me to go in so we're just chilling it's true amina style to be super early but it's okay yes amina yes Just record in the moment. Either. Ignore me. Okay, Hugs and kisses later. <laughs> Hello, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But as soon as they come, we suggest you go straight away because we've had about an hour and a half to already this morning. Oh, wow. So the bridge in the background is quite nice. Guys, I'm wearing my graduation gown, as you can see. It's waiting, we have about 10 15 minutes before we have to go inside. Um, so it's currently about 20 past one. Didn't end up going to UCL, but it's still on the agenda, so we might try to go after the graduation ceremony. And um, I do have until 5 pm. A mixture of graduates that are graduating, so you have literally like me that are wearing this monkey hat, and then you have masters as well. And I think that's all, so it doesn't seem like there are any undergraduates in this ceremony. Do you not like the hat very much? I'm not going to lie, like it's very funky. It's an interesting kind of hat, it looks like a Cornish pastry, but um, you know, that's the life of the pastry. The schedule of the graduation ceremony for today and I think for tomorrow as well. My name is Inna, I'll show you in a second. This is the Wednesday 2 pm ceremony, and when you go to the PhD in cell biology, there I am. I'm now open to all graduates. Everyone's seeing my hat. Give my hat back. Please be seated. Go. 
I'm very proud of our history of being the first university in England to admit students of any race, class, or religion, and the first to admit women to study on an equal basis with men. The philosophy and cell biology to work here. And Amina is still taking pictures. Non stop here, non stop. But you know what? It's a nice, pretty day. Clouds have come out, but it's still nice and warm. So um, it was a fun day. Really happy for my ride. People are going to see this later on and they'll be like, when did you record this? And I'm going to be like, when you were doing this, ignoring me. Two hours later, and we're still doing photos. This is how we do it. Sun's coming out. I'm sweltering under the desk, but it's okay. You know, you do it for the grudge. What does family got to say about this? <laughs> Love the hat. The pancake hat. Look <laughs> <laughs> at that gown. Look at that gown. See. And those shoes, man. Situation oh is just a day of queuing up, waiting around. Waiting some more, queuing some more, and then waiting some more. How about 100 pictures? Pict oh yeah, pictures, pictures, more pictures. And I'm just about to give, up my, give back my gown. Going to an Eritrean restaurant after this for dinner as a family. It's called Mossop, I think. And apparently it's really, really good. And when I phoned them, I had such a good experience with them when I was booking. So excited for that. Hopefully enjoy some Eritrean food. Um, okay, so it's time for me to give back my gown. Um, it's been a long day. I'm hot, I'm sweating, and I think it's just, I think it's time now. I think I need to give it back. Officially <laughs> <laughs> a graduate. I cannot believe I've officially graduated. I saw a few of you guys who watched my videos and were also graduating. So congratulations to you guys and congratulations to anyone else who was graduating. I wish you the best of luck and success in whatever you pursue in the future. And also in whatever avenue you decide to go into in the future, I wish you the best of luck and success. And it was so nice and lovely meeting you guys. So right now I am at um, a Mosul restaurant. This is the traditional room. We've got the traditional room um, for my family. It smells of Ethiopia or Eritrea. Like, I just, it's like, if you've been to Ethiopia, you get what I'm talking about, that smell. There's this kind of woody, nutty smell that I can smell right now and it just takes me back to Ethiopia. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much. This restaurant has the best reviews of all the Habesha restaurants in London. So I can't wait to try it out. Set menus are named after different cities. So Masawa, which is quite cool and you kind of choose what you want and you kind of share that platter with two or three people. Starters, we have falafel, ifuns, injera, max and spinach, right? Yeah. What's the other one? Lentils. lentils. Red lentils as well. Okay, and then we have hot sauce and I think it's a yogurt, sour cream. <laughs> I, I'm ready now. <laughs> Are you on iPhone or Samsung? Uh, <laughs> no, it's Samsung. No, Nokia, no one. Oh, very old phones, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Nokia, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So good, lentils, yeah, 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 Split, what was it? Split beans, a spinach, um, I think this is a lamb stew with egg, chicken. Um, I just got home and I've got so many messages, so I'm going to reply back to them all right now. Thank you for all 
your congratulations. I really appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. So it is the morning after graduation. I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to every single person that has sent me a message, who has liked any of my videos or comments on Instagram, who has just watched my videos, who just given me a second of support in their thoughts, literally anybody. Um, I just wanted to say thank you because I've been documenting my PhD for, I guess, past year and a half, two years now. The most amazing time and my biggest regret, and I always say this, my biggest regret is not starting earlier. I really wish I had begun vlogging uh, my PhD so much earlier. You would have seen so much more different content of me traveling abroad, going to conferences and things like that. I'm glad that I at least got the last year um, and was able to show you a glimpse of what goes on in a lab because it's such a multifaceted environment to be in and I'm so glad that I was able to show you something. Um, yesterday went smoothly. Graduation is such a hectic day. I haven't actually seen all my content yet so I'm not sure <laughs> what I've actually got because half the time my camera was with my husband and I told him to vlog me walking on stage and a few bits and bobs so um, I really don't know what I have so I'm hoping that I have something that I can make a vlog with. But yesterday was so inspiring because sitting there in your seat for what was it two and a half hours watching every student one by one proceed onto the stage and shake their hand and walk off every single student has done something amazing every single student has has combated so much difficulty probably so much anxiety throughout the years of degrees and exams and pressures and coursework and other personal issues they might have and the fact that they got there I think is a huge achievement whether they whether you graduated with an MSc, a master's, whether you graduated with a BSc, with your first degree or whether you graduated with a PhD or whether it's even more than that. All our successes are equally as huge and should be celebrated. We've got through this together and we all come from the best university in the world. I don't care who comes before us. UCL, I've been to King's, Imperial and UCL and honestly I've loved UCL. If you are thinking of applying to UCL, I say go for it because UCL is one of the best universities all around. It has a great social life, it has a great um, atmosphere, it has a great campus. The campus is going through regeneration at the moment so there's a lot that's going to be new in the following years so if you are thinking of applying then I say you are you, you have the best time and the best opportunity. Before the PhD students went on, the provost was saying how a PhD is, is the pinnacle of academic success. It's so important to know your self-worth and love yourself so much um, without being obviously proud or um, kind of self-indulgent. But it's so important for us to realise our own achievements and that's something that really only hit me yesterday when he said that and I thought, wow, I actually have reached that point and I, I, just don't, I just haven't seen it. If you go to my Instagram, I'm going to be posting loads of photos. I've got so many pictures that my brother kindly took for me with his camera. I'm so grateful for that as well. And I'm grateful to all of my family who've supported me along the way and to my wonderful husband who's been there through the thesis writing, through the corrections, <laughs> through all the struggle. If you subscribe to my channel, then please, please do subscribe because there's so much more coming for me this summer. I'm traveling somewhere. Somewhere really exciting actually. I think you guys are gonna love it. And I'm gonna be vlogging every single day when I'm there. And that's number one, and that will be like towards the end of August. So that's the one thing, inshallah, that I'll be doing. And then I've got a few kind of workout videos that are planned with my friend Sadia, who you saw in the previous vlog. So I'm going to be doing some workout videos and some modest wear gym kind of videos as well. And then I have a few kind of e-look books coming up. Yeah, and most importantly I have some educational videos coming up. So preparing you for going back to university or going, going into college or starting a new university or whatever it is that you're going to be beginning. I've got some videos that are coming up that are going to be about that. So a real mixed bag. And so I really do hope you stick with me and you watch my journey and you see kind of how this channel progresses because like I said there are no more PhD vlogs but I still am doing research here and there. Um, they're not really vlog worthy, the days that I go in are not really vlog worthy which is why I don't really vlog them but uh, I do hope that I'll be able to keep you updated with any publications that I do um, or anything like that. I hope I see you soon in my next video and lots of love and thank you so much again honestly. I have sent so much blessings to you guys, every single one of you. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.